<laughs> you know, just the first time we have ever sat down oh. and done an interview a, a, in any capacity, right? Like, not just not stagnant, but in any. Where is the camera? Cause this what get me help. Camera. Okay, so the camera's on. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> crazy your dad didn't even know back then that he was introducing us as lifetime sisters not just cousins we had so much in common not only did we live together for a little while but me and you we just did everything together you went with me to my grandmother's house all the time you were always hanging out with my brothers and I so you pretty much were like our second sister and yeah even those unforgettable 90s sleepovers, you were there. I remember your mom picking me up from school so that I could help you celebrate your birthday. When did we move out from y'all place? Ask your mama. Because I don't know. I don't remember. Let me ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll do it. Hi, I'm Shanta Haskins, um, the cousin. Wait, man, maybe I need to get out of this. Okay, all right. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, go ahead. Take two. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, take two. Hi, I'm Chantel Haskins. I am the cousin of Crystal Underdo. Uh, I am so glad to be here today. Yes, um, I'm honored for her to be here, y'all. <laughs> I'm a writer. Um, I have a blog. It is called Mend My Broken Pieces. Um, and a name came about, it really just dropped in my spirit one day. Um, I knew I wanted to do something with the community, something to have a platform with my writing and the way that the two merged were truly amazing. And I think that everybody have broken pieces in their life. I think if you live long enough, you'll have things where they've fallen apart, not really worked out, something that has seemed like it broke you, but the resilience and the perseverance has allowed you to push forward. And I think that we're all True. people just trying to mend those hurts, mm -hmm. mend those pains, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, find the next phase in life or find the next lesson. On that blog, uh, we started a community organization. Um, in Durham, North Carolina, we do things like book bag drive, adopt a highway, um, donate to local hospitals. And that's me i love to write poetry um and different things like that that is my passion and my purpose in life i definitely think so so anytime that i can give back um and um, share a little bit of my writing it's always a good thing y'all make sure to go check her website out <clears throat> on the website you'll see many different um writings that she has done and i you got a video up there too yes. right mm -hmm. and she's even done a video so um she's very creative in her craft and what she does so Thank make sure you. to go and check her out she'll be doing lots of good things in the community where we are so whew, the question is am i ready we're gonna do another channel we got to do something different i know we, we i mean we know how to you know what i'm saying we know how to <laughs> Give the people a little bit of background about our relationship as cousin sisters. So our family is from Lynchburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, so when they moved here to Durham, my parents stayed with my aunt and uncle, her parents, my mom and for dad, for a couple years. Um, our moms are sisters. Yes, my mom's older. Her mom's one of the younger sisters, but they're sisters nonetheless. Yes. So, so we're first yes, first cousins. Yes. So that's how the sister cousin relationship started um yeah. and you just were always close they used to call us salt and pepper you know <laughs> when you see one you see the other True. just um always around always trying to get into something as kids do always um, so what was your relationship like growing up what was it like as we got older old enough to know we had a real relationship um pretty good i think that like you said we ourselves didn't have sisters until mm -hmm. later on in life mm -hmm. um, much little, later yeah right um until i was 15 so that was yep. a long time and having somebody that you know is around the same age and understand what you're going through and like mm -hmm. a lot of the same things so 
um, older, once I got older, definitely a good thing to see, like, wow, this person has my back, he's been there for me, um, so, just, um, I guess as you get older, you compound on relationships, and they grow as yeah. you grow. True. So, it's always good. So, I was a good cousin. Yeah. <laughs> What's something that's memorable about, like, when you were like, hmm. I notice, like, I notice something is different. Um, I think it was more, I kind of heard rumblings, of, like, amongst, like, your your dad or, like, mm -hmm. maybe your family or something. And then I think it kind of made me pay a little bit more attention, attention to it. I think so. And then I was like, well, let me see <laughs> what's going on. What are you talking about? I let think what's going on here. I think that's how it kind of played out because I don't, I don't know if I was just like hey, paying attention to it. Yeah, as a kid. exactly. Right. Because right. I can remember us playing, and I'm like, hold on, let me pay a little bit more attention. <laughs> what was your reaction like when you, when you, when you finally paid attention? Like, what was the reaction like? What do you remember? I think I just was like, hey, do you know your eyes? <laughs> You know, just being a young child, right. like, do you, like, know? Do you know? And, and not from just a malicious, like, right, oh, but I'm curiosity. Gonna, yeah, like, right. hey, did you know this? Or did you, like, recognize? Or, like, hey, am I moving? Right. Am I, you know, <laughs> like, kind of just like, right. Wait a minute. Nothing else was, like, alarming. Right. It just or was nothing like, nothing else was different. Oh. It just was like, okay, it's my cousin. <laughs> and. So you didn't, you were you scared? Were you nervous? Did it make you feel? No, I just kind of like, there's my cousin and her, you know, her eyes are different and wow. I still love her. <laughs> like, Aww. just something about her. That's so but, sweet. But hey, let me stare a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> let me just. You know, so I don't think. Um, you might have been treated differently or anything like that. I just think once people, okay, well, let's see. It. All right, that's it. <laughs> Move on. They're curious about what that means because yeah. they probably that's what. Like, did you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, how? So the question of did I know at that age? I did not. Like I said, I the only time I see something move it's like it depends on the pattern of something. It, it doesn't sense. happen. With everything, it just right. depends on the pattern of something and how long you're staring at it. I remember going home and going in the mirror because we didn't have phones to do selfies and right. take videos. <laughs> right. And it, you know, the 90s, that wasn't, you didn't get your phone out. And, yeah. you know, you, the only thing you're going to do is to get a mirror and look or, you know, that's it. Yeah. So I remember going in a, in a mirror and looking and I was like, I can't see it. I, I, I couldn't. Why? Did you notice people or family treated me any differently due to my nystagmus? No, not at all. It's literally something that it's until you're made aware thing. of, right. you couldn't really tell that it was that. Yeah, exactly. Growing up, was my nystagmus ever a topic of conversation between you and I, or was it just something that was understood? Yeah, I think after the initial, like, hey, <laughs> you know your eyes are really? Right, that right. That was kind of it, because it wasn't like a, oh, I'm going to pick on, or, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It just was like... Oh, okay. It just, that's what it does. All right, well, let's go play. What questions did you have about nystagmus or what questions do you have now about nystagmus? I think um, how common it is. So one out of every 1,200 babies are born with nystagmus. Wow. Right. Wow, that's more common than, you know, I imagined. One out of every 1,200. Any other questions about that? Um, how do you think your vision um, has progressed from, or have you noticed anything from when you're young, when you were younger until now? Um, my vision. I think my vision has gotten better from when I was younger to now. Now I don't need glasses all the time. I only need mm -hmm. them during reading. No, I only need them for driving. That's it. When I was growing up, I had big coke bottles like cousin yay or nay <laughs> yay <laughs>
they was big. Anyway, but I think my vision has gotten better from when I was a child to now. And I, I, I can't say that I do anything different. My mom used to tell me if I ate carrots and if I ate beets, that that would help. I you, think you that's all that? it. I think that's everybody. But cousin, they would be like, it's going to help your eyes. And I would be like, <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, this is not true, but I would eat them nasty beef so maybe my mama and daddy was right maybe they was right but them beats were still nasty <laughs> they were still nasty they were still I nasty i will say when you were younger okay were a lot faster okay like give me an hey, example though with your fingers horizontally a lot yeah like, and, and that's a good point too she mentions horizontally everybody's my segments is not horizontal she's saying her experience from knowing me from a baby to now is that the eye movement has slowed down significantly. Yes. And I was going to say, I yeah. wonder if it's triggered by emotions. Yeah. Well. It, it, that's one thing that I've learned. If I have had a stressful day, if I'm tired or didn't get enough sleep, I can, I can see, I can, when I go in the mirror, after I get out the shower, I can see like, Oh, okay. I can, I I, this is, yeah, this is a bit. And even rich. now, I'm not even used to just staring at your yeah. eyes. Like I know. But <laughs> this is like the first time we have a look. Yeah, like you know. <laughs> but I'm does. I'm so not used to just staring right. at it right. because, like, like I said, at that young age, I knew, just... accepted, <laughs> and moved on. Right. So, like, even now, when we have talk or I come over, mm -hmm. I just don't just like <laughs> stare. <laughs> Creep. Just stare. <laughs> you know that's odd. You know I just know. Right, right. But I, I, I just, I, I completely just. It doesn't. You I don't. You, it's a yeah. part of me. So it's like it's okay. not. Hey, this is my cousin. Her eyes move. Right, no, and like, her eyes move. Yeah, yeah, like no. Yeah, it's just it's it just my cousin right here. And I'm telling you, it's it's really something that someone literally has to really be like be paying attention. <laughs> not because they're like oh so slow, but it's just. Yeah. That's something that you're not looking right for. Currently, like, they're not they don't as, as fast. fast. You know? Yeah. They're really not as fast. Like, someone now really has to, like, Pay stare and, like, somebody <laughs> really. Gaze into and also, mouth. that's not something you look for. Right. You know what I'm saying? In conversation, like, I think making eye, eye contact, contact anyway yeah. for some people is uncomfortable Hard. or you know some people are just like yeah. hey i'll focus on a spot on your shirt or right. they're more comfortable or some people will look at you and look away or yeah. you know even as i get older i'll be because that is something <laughs> that was a common like hey. but as i get older like just being mindful of, of like someone contact. is trying to look in your eyes right so sometimes when you're kind of like doing all the things Someone is kind of looking for that. Right. You and I will say, them. I will say with my stagnus, and I've done a video on this before, eye contact is probably the hardest thing for people with nystagmus. And it is because we are aware that something is different. And so it's almost like, am I making this person uncomfortable by giving them eye contact? That makes sense. Because then once I give you eye contact, then what your face shows me is, uh-oh, something ain't right. You right, see what I'm saying? Right. So it opens up your world to another person that you might not yeah. be quite ready for, that conversation. So that um, concludes our interview. This is my cousin. Her name is Chantel Haskins. Mm -hmm. And again, she um, she is the founder of Mend My Broken Pieces, nonprofit organization, and you can find her website at www.mendmybrokenpieces.com. Um, same Instagram and my broken pieces on Instagram. Very proud of also her. Also Facebook, same name, and then my broken pieces. Very, <laughs> very, very proud of her. Thank and so, you. um, thank you for having me. Yes, cousin, thank you for agreeing. Um, if y'all want to know more about nystagmus or more about our lives growing up, or if y'all just interested in seeing us do another video that ain't got nothing to do with nystagmus, right. we we could do another video too. Um, we like to have a good time. We like to joke around, and we just like to be funny. Uh, until next time. All right. We'll check y'all later. Question in. <sighs> Will I ever <laughs> All right, all right. You right, you right, you right. That was good because he did great. Thanks. That was great.